little closer. the way. and see if the gods respond. Feel the blessings of the seven? In Mondstadt, people call them animoculi. They can be fitted into the statue's eyes. Some stories say the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animoculi never had a physical form from the start. People with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. with powers, you don't have a vision. But then the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so... Keep offering animoculi and maybe you'll receive more blood. Yeah. <laughs> 
adventuring on an empty stomach. <laughs> What should I cook next? Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? No, we just happen to be passing by. What are you cooking? Smells good! I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Eat before you go. The first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics! My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. Oh, there's a cooking pot right there. Show me what you got. It's good to have someone to practice with. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. Survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. Mm. Nice to meet you. Is it done? Mmm, smells good. Let me try. Now that's really tasty. You are indeed gifted. Paimon told you so! With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushrooms. 
mushroom skewers for Paimon! about it. Huh. What, so you want Paimon on the front line now? She's a tiny one, isn't she? They need to be purpose-built. I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. No, buy from someone else. I barely have enough for myself. <sighs> you look confused. Listen, I'll tell you where the nearest deposits are. Bring some back and I'll help you forge what you need. No need. I have other things to do. Take your pick. He seems You'll like a short tempered no guy. Was it something we said?
this is bad. Such a hassle. <sighs> what am I going to do? Oh, thank the Thousand Winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the Animo God to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please, let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? This place will do. Tell us what it's about already! How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry, Paimon's lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. Oh. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related by blood. Yesterday, I was glancing through the notes my grandfather left and stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. The location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. <laughs> 
treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure is a sword. A magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared. Billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But the immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. These incredibly thrilling adventures are romances that could only be told by pirates. Holy moly, that's just insane! A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands! We must get the sword before them! You just rest assured that we are here to help! Wow. Great. Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword. Guild and see if we can find out more. The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right?
can smell fisherman's toast. Mmm, the aroma is coming from Good Hunter. A thick slice of soft white toast. Topped with a generous serving of onion slices lightly caramelized by the toasting. Yum, yum! Paimon's made up her mind! It's an emergency! We must order ourselves a generous serving of fisherman's toast from Good Hunter, pronto! It's on you, of course. It's so delicious! Hum, hum, hum. Good Hunter's Fisherman's Toast is the best! This might surprise you, but it's actually a classic Mondstadt recipe that anyone can cook. You can try cooking it yourself if you have the ingredients. Can your cooking skills surpass that of Good Hunters? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster. Don't you let me down. Recommendation is the steak. I guess I'll post an expedition at the adventurers. Hey, there's a lady over there waving to you. Come take a look. Let's go and see what she wants. Something that catches your eye. Rebooting. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. You've had your eye on her, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Are you saying we're, like, official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Basically, the Adventurer's Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases.
Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. A new member coming aboard is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards. And it is also proof of your membership. you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Ad Astra Abyssosk Adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss.
Hey, kiddo! Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild! Hmm. We're not here for something that boring! We're looking for a sword that fell from Celestia! One that can kill eight-headed banshees and silver-haired hydras! It's super mega uber powerful! As long as Paimon doesn't tell them the treasure's location... So, Cyrus, do you know where the Lost Arcadian Ruins are supposed to be? Arcadian Ruins... Never heard of them. Thanks for your intel anyway. If you do find these ruins, I'd love to see them. You're back. Do you have news for me? Listen, we asked around the Adventures Guild and found... Well... Nothing. <laughs> that much is expected. Oh, I only mean that, what's the fun in finding it without the hard work? However, I do have some clues. I sent someone to collate black market intel. 
it seems that someone does know about the Arcadian ruins. Really? Where's the guy? Now, now, as per the Black Market's rules, they will send someone to meet us to prevent leaks. We will be meeting the informant at the Whispering Woods. Then what are we waiting here for? You have my thanks. Of course, you'll be compensated for your troubles by the Knights. Why is this happening to me? I shouldn't have helped him. Him who? 
Thanks so much for saving me. You're far more reliable than those Favonius guys. It's nothing. She's a traveler. She has to do with stuff like this all the time. Traveler? I've heard stories about you. I didn't think I'd be saved by the one I'm here to meet. Oh, so you're the... <laughs> I didn't know how I could pay you back initially, but now I think I'll just give you the intel for free. People in our circle know how important the network is. Lucky? But it's lucky for Kaya, isn't it? He's supposed to pay for the intel. Listen well, then. The intel on the Arcadian ruins. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. There's also this map that came with it. Could... This be the experts the spot? So the clue is more like a riddle. Well, should be a piece of cake for you, right? Paimon will lead you to it then. Well, if you can't solve it, we can ask Kaya. He seems like a nerd too. I'll leave you the intel so you can review it at any time. Thanks, Vile! Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. What does that mean? If you don't want to ask Kaya, you better figure it out. 